And that is what you did by continuing the funding after peer grouping ends on Saturday. You're giving homeless youth a chance for a summer to remember and a great start to the school year. So on behalf of the Elizabeth Coalition, as well as all the programs funded by peer grouping funds, I thank you. Director Gozo, could you kindly, for the benefit of the public, give a brief explanation of this resolution? I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I, I did not hear the last part of your comment. Uh, if you could just give a brief explanation of 423. Yes. I'd be happy to. Uh, members of the board, um, as you know, um, Peer grouping. Uh, the state of New Jersey has, has made a has made a decision to end the peer grouping funding as of July 1st uh, of this year. Uh, that that those dollars have come into this county as well as other counties for over 20 something years, long, almost as long as I can remember, which is a long time. Um, as a result of peer grouping dollars, are uh, an acknowledgement by the state that there are that the county cares for the frailest of the frail. Uh, patients at, at, at the county level. And so peer grouping has been a mainstay for uh, social service programming in the Union County um, since really about the early 80s. Um, unlike most other counties uh, where 10%, only 10% of peer grouping dollars really goes, need, goes into social services, in this county there was a policy decision made many, many years ago that every board has kept since that time um, to, to contribute um, um, over 90 percent, it's a little bit less today than it used to be, of those dollars into social services. That policy decision splits those dollars between uh, senior services and general social services. And the, the two individuals, the two directors that you saw come up this evening, really fit into the category of general social services. And, and what that means is that these are programs that are definitely needed in, in Union County but are not covered by any other grant source. So without these dollars, the programs that, that you heard earlier would not exist or would cease to exist. And as a, as a result of, of the notification by the state that these dollars would end, as you well know, a, a, uh, a request was made through the department this year to come in and just keep us whole for at least this year, uh, not to add additional services, but to actually just maintain what we already had. And I am very happy and very pleased that the board uh, heard that request and agreed to do that. And this is just two examples that you've heard tonight of what those dollars mean to people in Union County as a result of that. So uh, again, on behalf of, of the service that, that they do, I thank them and behalf on your, your willingness to fund programs and move the state coming in with those dollars that are necessary. I thank you again on behalf of the community for what you've done. Thank you, Director. 23, I thought I saw another uh, peer group spending plan uh, the other week for, it was 300,000 or 500,000, I guess this is an additional one. I guess the county's funding also that other one. Somebody just confirmed that. Well, finish up the loop on peer group. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as, as I indicated previously, the uh, peer grouping funding is split between aging and general social services. The um, resolution that Mr. Patterson was referring to uh, was the aging resolution, I guess, a few weeks back, which basically provides hospice care and senior services for uh, eligible seniors throughout the county. So as a result of Similar to what you've done with that, it was also added to the budget to compensate for those dollars that we lose for seniors in the community. Thank you. 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 Thank